Leo, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for July. <laughs> Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. And then we'll kind of get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. Okay, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you want to miss out all of this part or this section, just in the description bar below, there is a, a timestamp. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. There we go. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout that just jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality. So just give me a moment to just, there we go. So just lay these cards. One more. There you go. So I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Leo, let's start your reading. And of course, for those of you who don't know, the uh, center card represents the state of the current connection. So possible issues that could be um, affecting this connection. And then we've got the two main cards up here showing how you're both showing up then behind the scenes what you're both thinking feeling regarding each other and then of course where you move to next let me just put that on um take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side person that you're dealing with over here but you can flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most okay there seems to be a dynamic of dominance in some way in this relationship i feel like for a lot of you are very much aware of it i feel like that dynamic is coming from, well, let me explain what I mean when I say dominance, more about someone wanting to take the reins in this relationship or in this connection in some way, shape or form. I feel like it's coming from this person, but we'll get clarity on that. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what's kind of highlighted or being highlighted when it comes to this, this relationship, is this um, wanting to take the reins, dominance leadership wanting to direct there we go wanting to direct this relationship or parts or elements of this connection in the way that they would want it whether that's you or this person i strongly feel it's this person though and i'll get to that in a minute as to why you're coming up as being you know it's like nonchalant about that or about things it's like not really bothered not not too much is going on here i'm not being affected by what's going on around me that could just be a mask though but we'll see. Um, and just based on the center card, that possibly could be a mask. But it's this, you know, I'm not bothered. I'm not, you know, regardless of what you're trying to do or regardless of what's happening or how you're choosing to act, it, I'm not being affected by it. In fact, you know, water off a duck's back type of thing. That's how you're portraying. That's how you're showing up. That's the mask you're wearing. I only say mask, Leo, because we'll see. We'll get into more details as to what's going on behind the scenes for you. When it comes to this person, your person is stressing, worrying. And this is why I feel like it's this person who wants to take the reins in some way, shape or form. Um, they feel they're right in some way, maybe, where they feel they need to, you know, show their or express their dominance or, you know, leadership skills, so to speak. That's the best way I can say it. But with that, it's causing them to be stressed, if that's the case. Again, we'll see behind the scenes, get more detail into what's going on. But yeah, there is a, a, a worry, a stress, a stressing. I'm not sure why that's so important to this person. But there is this worry and stress that they're having. You might not even realize it. You might not even recognize it. They could be, you know, hiding that really well. But that's what's showing up. Just in terms of what they're thinking, their thoughts about you, they're, they're wanting, they see you as someone that they want to hold on to, regardless of any challenges that they've encountered. It's like, I don't want to let go of this person. I don't want to let go of my Leo. Let's see. 
yeah, not wanting to let go of you. And what they're on the cusp of is kind of reflecting what they're thinking about in terms of, yeah, do you see that? There is a level of emotional mature, uh, fulfillment that they see that you provide in some way, shape or form. Again, I don't know if this person has even expressed that. Whoa, whoopsie days. Let me just grab that, guys. There we go. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Apologies if the... Um... There we go. Let me just grab these cards. I'm not even sure if this person has expressed that to you. Bit of a disruption there, but let's keep it rolling. I'm not sure whether this person has expressed that to you. Um, that could be something that, you know, they haven't expressed. For a lot of you, they, they've not really expressed that, but they definitely see you as providing some form of emotional fulfillment for them, which is why they're, they're, they're wanting to hold on to this, or at least, you know, that's how they see this, like holding on to this. They are on the cusp of this um, stability, thinking about stability, reliability, foundation. Yeah, stable. So maybe this person, I'm not sure, Leo, is this person proposed maybe some ex exclusivity or wanting to move this into, in a direct, well, clearly, but in a direction that, you know, maybe you're not, we'll see. <laughs> but definitely wanting to, at least thinking about the stability with you because again we've got this emotional fulfillment towards this happiness it's like I, I want I want my I want my Leo I want my Leo I'm not looking to let go of my Leo I want something stable or at least thinking about something stable yeah I want to advance where things are at at the moment it's like if you're just talking they want to, you know, move on to dating. If it's dating, exclusively dating. If it's exclusively dating, something more committed than that. And it's not to say that you're not seeing them based on your thoughts about them. There is this, um, yeah, new journey, but we'll get into that in a minute. Yeah. Wanted things to come in for them, turn around for them. In in a way, I would go even so far as to say, Leo, that this person, you know, sees the blessing in this in this relationship or in you or in meeting you in some way or or, or even I would say the potential of what this relationship could be. But there is some communication that they're feeling. There's something around communication which we'll get into in a minute. But like I said, there is this um how you see them, this element of new journey new chapter maybe this is someone that's new and you're just kind of at the beginning stages so you're eyeing in out those just minor challenges or minor hurdles that sometimes we're faced with when we're dealing with someone new or dealing with aspects of the relationship that we've not encountered before but you do see this as something that can work out with the with the with the queen you do see this as something that can actually work Yeah, <laughs> I keep glimpsing up at how you're showing up. I can see you now, Leo, like, you know, what is this person trying to do? And they're not having much of an effect on me, or at least I'm not showing it. Curious to see what that's about. That's quite interesting. We've got the five on top of that high priestess. I'm just clarifying. Insight insight you're on the verge of having some form of insight leo yeah on the verge of having some form of insight with that high priestess but what is what's that five about that's what i wanted to see if i can shed some light on that Hmm. If it wants to speak, so what's that? Something that you're keeping hidden, or yeah, something that you're keeping either hidden or doing things behind the scenes, thinking about behind the scenes. Yeah, it's something that you're thinking about that you're not. It's behind the scenes, though, about maybe a loss of some sort, or an element of this 
where you see there being a loss in some way or a letting go even with the five there. But definitely there's some guidance, some, um, yeah, some insight. There we go. There's some insight that you're on the cusp of, which is going to bring you to some um, form of epiphany, some wake up call. What's that urgency you're feeling, Leah, with that night there? There's urgency, a feeling of urgency. I feel, I feel that strongly. Strongly, it's an urgency. It's an urgency about this relationship or some form of element of this connection. There's an urgency around that for you. A feeling of urgency. Could be recklessness as well. I feel like that's more urgency for a lot of you. <laughs> yeah, it feels like with the... Um, uh, King, there could be this urgency to, how can I put that, um, move something in a direction or, or go after something, go after something or do something which is going to create some form of conflict or, yeah, conflict, minor, even my, it's minor conflict though. You'll, you'll know what that, that, that means. <laughs> Let me just fix this. You know what that means. Um. Leo, there's something around urgency when it comes to this relationship or this connection um, that you're wanting to move towards, which you feel is going to create some form of maybe conflict, minor conflict around around that. But just moving into their center card, there's something around communication for them. I'm not sure whether they're feeling like they need to reach out or express something to you. Let's get some clarity on that. But This um, on the cusp of, yeah, it's it's relating to this, yeah. It's talking about foundation, Leo. Your person wants to communicate or express something around foundation. It's going back to this King of Cups. It's this, you know, solidifying some form of stable foundation that you guys can grow or build on with this. Um, this person is kind of ready to embark on a relationship, it seems most definitely and you know there's just some challenges around that for them to deal with I think leadership or control or some having some form of control or dominance in some area or something that they feel they need to control in some way but ultimately this person feels like you bring some form of positivity or have some form of impact on their life in a positive way in a positive way but where they're moving to is quite a bit concerning only because, you know, we've got the Nine of Swords, which is reflecting how they're showing up. But we'll get into that in a minute. Where you move to is this. And I feel this is tying into this urgency or this moving forward towards something that could create some form of minor conflict. But you do move into a place where you feel or you think there's some form of disconnect or it's kind of a... Uh, I don't want to use the word disconnect because it's not really a disconnect, but it's issues, which is separated you guys, but not separated, if that makes sense. It's this feeling left out in the cold or being left out in the cold. Yeah. And you start to think in a kind of pessimistic, pessimistic way. I want to use the word ego. And not because it's relating to you, but I get this sense of ego is playing a part in this spread in some way, in this reading in some way, whether that's both of you, whether it's you feel you, you need to be on the defense because of how this person is coming across. And maybe this person feels like they need to take out some form of control based on how you're responding. It's this conundrum of, <laughs> you know, where underlying it all, you both kind of want the same thing. It's quite interesting, but we'll get a fuller picture and see what's going on for you guys. But I just want to clarify this one more. more. Yeah. Changes things. Start to think pes in a pessimistic way. Hmm. So we'll, we'll get a fuller picture on where, what that is. But in terms of them, like I said, they do 
move into a place where they start to worry and stress and for some of you sleepless nights for some of them i should say sleepless nights cross watcher worried concerned and i'm talking about like really concerned not just interrupting their day overwhelmingly as well feeling overwhelmed mentally overwhelmed that's quite interesting when you both it seems want the same thing let's get a finished picture um move into part two of the reading get a foot picture and see kind of where this moves to um and how this kind of plays out for you both should be part two should be showing up on the screen as we speak leo so click on that if not you can click on part uh, your love and singles playlist for the week or for the month i should say um see you guys in a bit <laughs> 